Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here with oh. the in, um, the in, um, <laughs> the the incomparable. Oh, the, uh, and I, <laughs> thought, thought, I thought you might be <laughs> enigmatic or something, <laughs> but I don't know what that means. Right. So we're talking about uh, City Band, and yeah. City Band has started up. Uh, tonight is your pre-show, which you guys will be uh, actually us guys because we're all yeah. the City Band together. That's right. We're all one big happy. Semi happy dysfunctional family, <laughs> and we meet every summer. You know, a lot of people uh, do also the community band for uh, some of the folks who still need to play some music but are not yeah. professional. That's right. It's always nice to like dust off your old uh, trombone or other instruments, uh, <laughs> whatever you yeah, have whatever to instrument play. you have. You can join the city band, which rehearses every Monday at Central High School from seven to nine p.m. Ah, I see. I love preaching to the choir because we're already believers. Scott plays trombone in the, in our city band. Yeah. <laughs> I'd play any other instrument if you have me do that, but it seems like trombone's a good fit. It is, it is. And, uh, you know, when I have extra brass players, I usually shove them to tuba. And I got a couple extra this past week going, hey, really? You think you can play tuba? Okay, I'll get you one. Come on. Well, I played tuba in, in, in um, college, yeah, but yeah, I haven't but played since. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know if, we, if, it gets, if it gets tough down there. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, start back, we start back up again this week, and uh, uh, people always ask, uh, how's the band this year? Well, I've got no idea until uh, until just two days ago. And the band's pretty good. Yeah, uh, we have like 11, 12 trombone players. <laughs> which is almost enough. Because I remember like when I kind of like maybe even five years ago, there's probably like five yeah. at most at yeah. any given time. Yeah, if any section, we were a little light in the clarinet. So that's always the way it is. The clarinet has been, uh, is traditionally, and the way music is written, it, they, they have a huge... Uh, uh, voice in the band and the clarinet just ever since Benny Goodman died that uh, uh, the instrument hasn't been near as popular and so we could use a we could use a handful of more clarinets but and a couple of percussion though I've done some calling and I think we'll be okay uh, the band was uh, mostly mostly veterans and uh, uh, it, it went it went smoother than I had uh, anticipated that's good but it's sure good to have another week. That uh, uh, this extra, this concert that we're doing this evening uh, is from a, another group that most of the people play in the community band or the city band, and we play big band music. And it's uh, the amateur band because we have a, a, a professional big band in town. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been making about seven dollars a show with my professional big band, um, uh, the Ed Norton Big Band, um, and the, our, our Missoula Big Band is. Uh, an avenue for us to play swing music without without the professional label, uh, and uh, we we spend our, our time in the in the winter time uh, playing senior centers and right. things like and that. Right, and I've seen a couple of shows here and there. You guys go to Ten Spoon Winery <laughs> now and again. <laughs> we do uh, only occasionally. Usually we're at uh, you know uh, all the all the places out North Reserve where I'm shopping for senior care. Um, that, uh, uh, but we uh, so we got repertoire still available to us, and the weather is usually so beautiful here in June. Though it's a little it's a little windy out there this morning. Uh, the weather is usually so wonderful that we've uh, added a concert on to our series. So the, our concert band has another week to prepare, but the big band will play the gig tonight, and we'll just be. I'm thinking about. I, I've got to get a bunch of sandbags to hold the music stands down because it's going to be so freaking windy. Oh. <laughs> well, you never know. You guys are protected by the band show at Bonner Park, yeah. and that's Bonner Park, not, not Bonner. Bonner. It's town, which is over there. Every year we hear stories. People, people driving out and just ended up at that brew pub out there instead of at the concert. Yeah. <laughs> Named after David Bonner, not the town. That's right. But Bonner Park in Missoula, pretty much the center of the university district. You yep. really can't miss it. It's basically behind Paxton Elementary. That's it. Or, you know, just go to the Dairy Queen and turn into the, to the mountain. Yeah. You'll run into it. <laughs> By 8 o'clock, if you start hearing some brass um, band instruments, you, you're, you're close. There it is. That's right. <laughs> Just have the window down. You don't need to have the windows up anyway at 8 o'clock at night. But also, if uh, there's no chairs provided, so bring That's your right. lawn chairs. That's always Or something. a blanket. Yep. And there'll be usually those uh, folks from Big Dipper show up and, and hawk their ice cream. Uh, it's yeah, pretty good. Man. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good strategy. <laughs> and it's a good, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So come on out. We'll we'll be there every every Wednesday this summer, eight o'clock. The only uh, anomaly 
<coughs> excuse me, is um, the Choral Festival concert, which oh, is yeah. mid-July or something like that. I think it's July 16th or something like that. That sounds good. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll start our concert an hour early because we're having all the youth choirs from around the, the globe. And those are fun. Join us. It's always great. I mean, and this is a, it's a triannual concert as well. That's but it. I'll have someone on here to talk all about that. Yeah, the, yeah, the Jennifer and Heidel will be here. Uh, and and we've, we've been with them from the very beginning and it's a nice cooperative event between us. Uh, uh, I, I, we, we, we suddenly have this huge audience uh, that I know many of the folks come for the choirs. I, I, but while they're there, uh, we have a chance to be able to, uh, to share our music with them. And uh, so we'll play an abbreviated concert starting at 7, and then I'll MC the rest of the evening and bring all the, all the youth choirs up on stage. Otherwise, it's every Wednesday at 8 o'clock at Bonner Park, and, you know, 8 o'clock at night in Bonner Park. Yeah, it's such it's a great time. It's just so time. sweet. The sun's going down, and it's cooled off, and... Ah, and the kids, you know, yeah, I raised my own kids over there. The kids can run over to the playground or over to the waiting pool. And then I, mean, I always made them come back when the band stopped playing. The kids would run back and check in with me, make sure everything's okay, because lots of parents that do that scene as well. Right? And one of my old buddies, God, who is it, a trumpet player, his old man was a smoker, is a smoker. And uh, he would always sit over in the dugouts in that ball field over there so he could still hear the band, but that way it wasn't bothering people as he's sitting there smoking his cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> so we can accommodate dang near everybody. That's good. Yeah. And uh, tell us about some of the music that you usually play. You know, some people who have never done, been to these shows. Could you imagine it? Oh, yeah. I can't, I can't. Does somebody, somebody doesn't know about the Missoula the City Band, the Bonner Park. Uh, you know, we're a concert band, so we're, uh, we have a traditional uh, uh, repertoire and Part of part of my goal is to uh, is to embrace the past. Uh, uh, you know, every city, every city in the in the country of any worth a hundred years ago had a city band before TV, before radio, before anything else, before theater. Really, uh, uh, was uh, public. Uh, concerts in the park or anywhere, you know. Ours here in Missoula started on the, on the courthouse steps uh, here at the county courthouse. Uh, and most cities around the country have, have uh, uh, not carried out a tradition. And, and our, our city mothers and fathers continue to support our existence and uh, we're carrying on the tradition of, uh, of free band concerts and I mix up the repertoire. So you can always count on two or three marches at least. Yeah. Some, Sometimes more than that, uh, and because <laughs> I, I have a lot of marches in the, in the hole, man, uh, and a, a, a wide variety of music. Uh, that there'll be uh, some pop tunes, especially next week. I'll have some pop tunes because we're playing for the U of M music camp kids. So I got I got to do Bohemian Rhapsody, and I'll do a Beatles thing. Uh, and there's always uh, uh, our, we always have guests every week as well. So uh, most people that aren't instrumentalists uh, approach music through lyric. And I, I understand that and I get it. I don't have to have lyric, though I've, I've warmed up to it over the years. So m most people don't understand vocal music. So nice. I have a guest to come, or guests that come on all the time and they'll, they'll sing with us. And then there's lots of people go, oh, I like that because there's words to it. And that, that, I understand it, I get it. Yeah, and uh, let's talk about the Band-Aid. You know, like um, you also are selling a book uh, like last year was the like I'm like check out this book. You it's remember, about the history you remember of, that? Huh? I have the book. <laughs> <laughs> it's the history of the city band. Yes, and what you use to help raise money that goes into the city band as well. All the money, all the money now. I think we broke even like in July of last year. I think oh, wow. from all the great publicity and so and. Uh, and the only thing we took out were the production costs, and now all proceeds of the band uh, uh, of the book, which is only fifteen dollars, uh, goes to the support of the city band. That's awesome. And I still have, I still have enough copies. I can make you a great case discount, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, uh, it's one of the things is like uh, the Missoula City Band is like a rarity too. There's not too many community bands in the United States. Yeah. Let alone Montana. Yeah, yeah. We've got a handful in the in the state. We're the only ones that still receive public funding in the state. Uh, uh, we, and we do lots of fundraising as well. We're part of the Missoula Gives campaign. Uh, and uh, 
We've got corporate sponsors. Yeah, Blackfoot Communications is always uh, such a great supporter, and uh, you know those kids, families came through and played in the city band yeah. uh, with us. Um, the whole, no, where was I going? <laughs> Just all the people who've supported. Oh, I mean, yeah. I, I, I even want to mention the the guy who does all the electronics. You know, who sets up all the mics and all that stuff. Jay, Jay Jay's Straw been doing it forever. High, high tech audio. As long as I remember, he's been pretty much doing it forever. Yeah, like, it's like his goodwill project yeah. for us. He doesn't. He, he just charges us just a tiny little bit. And we used to. You you would probably remember the speakers. We used to leave speakers up in the band shell. Well, the the birds and pigeons just enjoyed the, those nests too much. So every week, this so we took them down. And every week, Jay comes out and sets up the speakers. We we. We usually give him some help. I'll find some big dudes in the band that will help lift up speakers, and he mics us uh, so we uh, can get the voices out to the uh, audience. But Jay's been doing sounds since I've been with the band, and he did it before then. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of unsung heroes inside the city band. Yeah. Uh, uh, Andrea? No. Oh, I can't. Oh, man. That's right. So the good... The Goodrich, you know, Andrew Goodrich, is that who you're thinking? No, 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 uh, she's the one who basically uh, does all the, fills the folders. Oh, uh, Amanda. Amanda, jeez. There we go, there we go. That's all right, you got awful, AI. like all these years. And Amanda, it's like, she does everything. Administrative assistant, I think is what she calls herself. Now she manages a band, she does all the equipment. She does everything but conduct the band, and that's what I do. Yep. So she does everything else. And she uh, and and I just love her for it. And she's a, a former student that we connected a long time ago. And she loves the band. And she is benevolent enough to continue work along with her mother. <laughs> she and her mother, great old band parent, not old. I'm sorry, former band parent. Uh, stuff all the folders. And you know, at rehearsal, there wasn't one snafu. There are thousands of pieces of paper that got put in particular places and people opened up those places and all the music was in the right order and the right music. Oh man. So Amanda runs the band. I just I just stand in front. Take you, just have, you just have a stick and you just wave it around. That's, that's all I do. And occasionally people look though, not so much on Monday night. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it'll be, it'll be it, It's a process. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, honestly, on the first rehearsal, the band sounded really good. You know, the collective sound, it's always really nice because you have a lot of people who've done band for a long time and being able to listen to each other and just kind of, like, blend it all together. It's so amazing. I went back to a, a, a buddy who hadn't played in the band in 25 years probably, and he came back this, this year. And I said, how'd it go, bud? He went, oh, I suck. I said, you suck, and I looked at the guy next to him and said, how about you, buddy? He says, yeah, I suck. I said, but the band doesn't. All right? There's this miraculous uh, uh, audiotronic event that yeah. happens that we take sounds individually <laughs> that suck, and when they blend together, they don't suck near as much. It's amazing. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's a doctoral thesis written on the, the phenomenon because everyone in the band thinks they suck. But, but they, the band doesn't. No, because they all lean on each other. Yeah, and then when they can't play something, somebody else will pick it, pick it up. And somehow our collective sounds blend so well together that it becomes enjoyable and not sucking. It's an it's a, it's a interesting phenomenon. <laughs> well, come to see uh, the Not Suck City Band <laughs> every Wednesday at Bonner Park starting at 8 p.m. If you are a person who is interested in joining the band. Oh, it's not yeah, too late, man. It's never too late. Every Monday at yeah. Central High School, new location. It's that big white atrocity on the outside the, of the building. It's the nice section of Central <laughs> High School now. Instead of going to that uh, the trailer in the back, <laughs> the, the temporary they building. brought it up front near yeah. the Margaret Johnson Theater, and yeah. they put all the arts together in one place, yeah, which it's, is, it's, is it's, a great place. It's a great place, and I'm very pleased and thankful to the Missoula County Public Schools for letting us uh, use the facility. Yep, and all the voters who. Uh, Forked over the hundred and fifty-eight million dollars to, <laughs> That's right. to all the schools. It, it, there it is. We're using it for the benefit of of everybody, yeah. Yeah. and you can bring your guests along to when they you know because there's two seasons here in Missoula. We have we have winter and then we have company, and so bring your company along to the uh, concert, but then tell them you know not to move here. They can <laughs> they can come and visit, and enjoy the city band, but then. <laughs> Go, go back to Chicago. Yeah, yeah, visit, visit Missoula, <laughs> but don't stay here too long. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining me, Gary. Thank you, buddy. All right, we'll be right back right after this. <laughs>